the FEV will appeal to business users looking for cheap company car tax. 2. With 29 grams slash km CO2 emissions putting it in the lowest 9% benefit in kind bracket. For comparison, the regular Nero 3 has a 19% rating, emitting 101 grams slash km of CO2. Performance is sluggish, though. Despite being faster than the normal Nero hybrid on paper, the Fed feels lethargic. And unlike the new Optima plugin, it never feels especially alert. Even off the line the Nero struggles to pick up pace with any urgency, and the engine kicks in when using anything more than part throttle. Take things more gently, however, and the Kia crossover is a quiet companion. It glides silently in F mode between junctions and traffic lights. The Nero Fev has two drive modes for the powertrain, EV and HEV, the latter combining battery and engine for the best balance of performance and efficiency. The 1.6D unit isn't as quiet as we'd hope, though, vibrating rather harshly as it kicks in and raising its voice when you ask for more revs. The 6-speed dual-clutch gearbox isn't the smoothest, either, but many will find it preferable to Toyota's CVT setup. A sport setting for the box gives little to boost outright performance, although it does improve throttle response slightly.